Learn to lead. We make winners who lead. Good evening all. On behalf of Harvard Institute of Research and Management, I welcome you all for this free online webinar. And this webinar is based on the upcoming May MAT examination. Right? So how to prepare for your upcoming May MAT in 30 days? In this webinar, we are going to give you the tips and tricks to crack your May MAT 2023 in the next 30 days. Okay. Now, so the MAT exam pattern consists of five parts, as you all know already. Okay, most of the students here have applied for the May MAT examination, and you are all, you are all aware of this May MAT examination, right? Mathematical skills, language comprehension, data analysis and sufficiency, intelligence and critical reasoning, Indian and global environment. So, in total, under five topics, they will ask you questions. Okay. So, in each topic, 40 questions will be asked. In total, you have to answer 200 questions. And the time allotted is 2 hours 30 minutes. So, that is nothing, 150 minutes. So, you need to answer 200 questions in 150 minutes. Then calculate how fast you should be. See, you cannot be in a question more than a minute. See, if I split equally, for 200 questions, I need what 200 minutes. But the time allotted is 150 minutes. So time management is a very, very important factor in all the competitive exams. See, I have seen many students saying that after writing an exam, they used to say that I don't have time. And so the time was not. Right. So if any student says like that, just keep it in mind that they are lagging in their practice. So in case of math exam, if you want to crack with a good score of 600, even I came to know that many of the top institutions are expecting more than 600 plus nowadays. Even we at Firebird expect the match score of 550 plus from the students. Only those two students who have at least 500 plus in the math exam, they are able to uh, apply for the MBA or PGDM program at Firebird. Okay, so all the top institution have ri has raised their score level this time. And so to get good score in the upcoming math exam. The very important thing you should have is practice. So unless you have a good practice, you cannot crack. Because I have seen the past three sessions question paper, September, December as well as Feb. So in all the three sessions, the question pattern has become tough when compared to the last year. Okay, so under mathematical skills and data analysis and sufficiency, so you need to enter 80 questions in total. So in these 80 questions, they have covered all the topics. They have not focused on any one topic itself. Okay, so for 80 questions, you have to cover all the mathematical part to have a good score. See why I suggest to cover all the mathematical part instead of getting thorough with one concept because See, there are many concepts like average allegations, time, speed and distance, time and work and so on. Okay, so if you get a good aptitude book or quantum cat book, so you will get all the topics list and you can go through. But I cannot say that this particular question will be asked in this upcoming math exam or any competitive exam. Okay, but you cannot find the repetition of the question. So I have seen all the three sessions question paper, the questions were not repeated in any session. Maybe the model they have asked is same, uh -huh. but maybe due to lack of practice, see if I get thorough with the average concept, okay, and if I get confident like, okay, I'm thorough with the average concept, I can see if they make any twist in the question based on the average, you may not be able to answer that question. So, my request is, instead of focusing, because you have a solid one month time, Instead of focusing few particular concepts, try to cover all the basic concepts. And also, in the ended mathematical part, I suggest you to cover the topics like because to score a minimum mark, okay. So, uh, see, geometry, mensuration, trigonometry, and then coordinate geometry. Okay, so be thorough with these four topics first. Because these topics are based on formulas. If you formulas and concepts, if you get thorough, it's, it is enough if you spend two days in these concepts. Okay. 
apart from a particular formula apart from a particular method they are not going to ask you any twisted question under these topics it is very tough if they ask you they if the question pattern then it will go to the cat exam level okay so first be thorough with the concepts like geometry menstruation trigonometry coordinate geometry formulas and try to work out the basic questions under these topics okay this is the thing and uh, the next part for mathematical skills data analysis and sufficiency the very very important is you should be thorough with your speed maths okay you should be thorough with your speed maths under speed maths you should cover concepts like past addition okay and then past multiplication basic concepts in like multiplication past multiplication the concepts like multiplying a number by 5 multiplying a number by 25 multiplying a number by 11 so these past multiplication concepts you should be thorough initially and the very important concept is you should know percentage to fraction concept so how to convert a percentage to fraction that is very very important okay so you should be thorough with percentage to fraction conversion concept it is very important and after covering this percentage to fraction conversion you should be able to know the square values and square roots and divisibility rules okay these are the few concepts which come under speed max so first starting before starting with your mathematical skills plot like uh, time and work time speed and distance or so and so be thorough with the basic concepts of fast calculation fast addition multiplication percentage to fraction conversion finding out the square and square root and applying divisibility rules okay the next thing you should focus under mathematical part is you should cover the concepts that will help you to uh, to work out the questions in mathematical skills as well as data sufficiency okay the topics which cover mathematical skills and data sufficiency are percentage profit and loss ratio proportion and partnership ratio proportion partnership and venn diagram basics okay so this is a second part you have to focus first try to concentrate on the speed max concepts and then percentage profit and loss ratio proportion partnership concepts okay so if you concentrate on percentage profit and loss ratio proportion partnership concepts definitely based on these topic you can expect 20 to 25 questions out of 80 questions 20 to 25 questions you can expect from this topic okay so in data analysis part also there are questions based on percentage profit and loss only sometimes if the question they if they want to set the question tough they are going for the concepts like time and work time speed and distance okay then after covering this part third work with geometry menstruation trigonometry formulas coordinate geometry formulas and fourth part come to the remaining part okay like lcm and hcf concept so lcm and hcf concept that should come in speed maths okay you should know the basics of lcm and hcf concept without that it is very very tough okay so then time and work time speed and distance pipes and systems and uh, calendar based problems probability permutation and combination and so on average allegation okay so cover the remaining parts as the last okay so first be thorough with your speed max then just get thorough with your uh, basics of percentage profit and loss ratio proportion and then cover with the basic formulas of geometry menstruation trigonometry coordinate geometry okay it will take nearly 2 days and after that cover the remaining concepts in points definitely if you follow the strategy it will help you to crack your upcoming may mat examination definitely you can achieve a good score of 60 plus out of 60 questions you can attempt out of 80 questions okay this is how you should prepare right and next up 
the next part you should focus is i hope you are thorough with this baby the next part you should focus is intelligence and critical reason okay so so see if you study two quants topics a day if you study one quants topic you just go through one reasoning topic or if you study quants for two days spend time one uh, one day for reasoning okay so under intelligence and critical reasoning so be thorough with the basic concepts like lead relation direction syllogism puzzle arrangement based problems okay then clocks and calendars concept okay these concepts you get thorough okay and then focus on data sufficiency part in reason okay so these concepts you should get thorough in case of data analysis and yes and one more important part is coding and decoding so in intelligence and critical reasoning these are the concepts you should be thorough okay and next coming to language comprehension so first start practicing reading comprehension daily okay try to practice at least two passages daily and while practicing these uh, two passages pick out hard words and write down its meaning that is synonyms and antonyms definitely it will help you to track your vocabulary part okay and the next section you have to focus is grammar in grammar just count that out get that out with parts of speech and then tenses direct and indirect speech active voice and passive voice okay after concentrating on these topic then study the rules that is there are many resources available in the net which gives you the error spotting rules see the main thing is that you should focus see you should prepare like you should get to learn rules based on tenses direct indirect speech active voice passive voice and also uh, in parts of speech articles prepositions conjunctions you should study their rules that is very important okay now so the first part you should practice at least two passages daily and try to learn new words daily in the next part is you should get thorough with the basic concepts of grammar okay so if you get thorough with the basic concepts of grammar it will help you to solve error spotting as well as sentence rearrangement okay at the last you can concentrate on indian and global environment see indian and global environment the marks are not constant okay so these are the things you should be thorough you should focus and this is the way you have to prepare for your upcoming may may mat examination and the first pbt test date falls on 21st may and today 16th may is the last day to apply you can download your admit card from 18th may and for cbt first cbt falls on 14th may and second pbt falls on 28th may second cbt falls on 4th june i think this is the last test date and uh, there are four ibt dates they have released first ibt date 7th may and 4th may is the last date second ibt date 13th is a test date and 11th may is the last day to apply third ibt 20th may and fourth ibt 27th may and uh, see you can book either second or third ibt is the best choice so if you 
not satisfied with your performance in the third IBT, either again you can apply for fourth IBT or CBT two test. Okay, I hope you got some information regarding the upcoming May MAT examination and how to approach this May MAT examination, right? And uh, when coming to topics, the important topics you should concentrate on and the mathematical skills, percentage, allegations and mixture, trigonometry, ratio, permutation and combination, mensuration, time, speed and distance, that is trine and boats and stream based problems. Yes, the next topic, simple interest and compound interest, pipes and systems, profit and loss, geometry, LC and NCF concept, partnership concept, number system, progression. And also quadratic equation noted down, there are, I have seen some questions based on quadratic equation also, LCM and HCF. Okay, under intelligence and critical reasoning, blood relation, number series, coding, coding and decoding, distance and direction, puzzle type, assertion reasoning type and see there are three types under blood relations. So go through all the concepts under blood relation and there are some question paper where out of 40 marks 10 questions were based on 10 marks are based on blood relation okay then statement type puzzle large question type okay so to crack your intelligence and critical reasoning part so if you concentrate blood relation number series coding and decoding distance and direction assertion and reasoning type at least minimum you can score 15 to 20 marks okay minimum two to three puzzles you can expect in under intelligence and critical reasoning first see solve while solving puzzle type question you may feel interest but it will waste your time when we see under exam point of view so first try to cover the topics like number uh, number uh, series coding decoding distance and direction blood relations and all and then try to solve puzzle Type questions okay i hope you got some idea regarding this uh, may mat examination all the best students now learn to lead we make winners who lead